Paul Furman and Tom White sign for the Bluebirds. What's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel by me Baron So yes I'm back with another video on the channel It's another transfer news video Paul Farman and Tom White signed for the Bluebirds on a two year deal Well Tom White makes a return back to the progress in Switzerland Stadium But Paul Furman has made his first appearance to the Cumbrian rivals in Barrow as he is an ex Carla United player. So in this video then I'll be giving my opinions on these two players, talk about their career, talk about what the club said and yeah. But any further but before we do get any further into the video, if you haven't already please don't forget to smash the like, subscribe to the channel, be massively appreciated because and let's get straight into speaking about Paul Furman and Tom White signing for the Bluebirds. The first player that we are going to speak about is the goalkeeper, Paul Farman. So, Paul Farman made a move to the Cumbrian rivals from Carlisle down to Barrow on a two-year two deal. This is what the club said and put out about Paul Farman. The 31-year-old stopper has followed his footsteps of Offeran Zanzala in turning down a deal at the rivals Carlo United in order to join Cooper's, Cooper's new regain at Barrow. Farman joined Carlo last summer and missed only four League 2 games during the 2020-21 as he further enhances his Reputation as one of the most reliable and respected goalkeepers in the lower league. The North Seals born star was on the books at Newcastle United in his youth before making a senior breakthrough with Blythe Spr Spartans and then clinching a move to Gateshead in 2009. Farming enjoyed three years in the colours of Gateshead but he excitedly during a loan stay at Lincoln in 2012 and made the move to single bank permanent that summer. He went on to make 250 appearance for the Imps, winning the Player of the Year award, 20, Player of the Year award in 2014/20, and then started, and then started as they won promotion back to back to the Football League in 2016/17 campaign during which he, he's kept 22 clean sheets. After, a six memorable, after six memorable years at Lincoln, he moved to Stevenage in 2016 and played over two seasons, over two seasons at the Lamac Stadium before making the switch to Cumbria. In my opinion, this keeper has got some... The, Paul Farman has got a serious amount of experience on him. 31, coming to play for Barrow. Is he going to be... I think he will be our number one, definitely. I think Joel Dixon is on his way out of the club, so I think Paul Farman will be our number one for the Bluebirds. There's no way they'll let, him, they'll let Paul Farman sign and still play Joel Dixon as the number one. I think Joel Dixon will be on his way out and we'll probably have to bring in a backup goalkeeper maybe. Well, we've still got Josh Wheels. Potentially that could be signing another contract uh, with the club or being backroom staff. We still know he can play in goal if we needed him. But my opinion on this, Paul Farman, very, very good goalkeeper. Playing for uh, it's been at uh, Lincoln City, he's been at Forest Green. He's also been at, um, he's been at Gateshead. Now he's been at our rivals, Carlisle, and now he's come to 
the Bluebirds. I think he's a very, very tall goalkeeper, and I think he will make a good impact for next season. Now, let's move on to speaking about the return of Tom White, the young man from Blackburn. Let's speak about him then, 24 years of age. Let's speak about what the club had to say about Tom White signing a two-year two deal. And after we've done that, we'll take a look at their career profile and see how many games they played and how many, well, clean sheets and goals for Tom White, obviously. But yeah, let's get into speaking about Tom White at joining the Bluebirds. So, now moving on to speak about what the club had to say about Tom White joining the club. I am very, very happy about this signing. A creative midfielder joining back the Bluebirds. So, this is what the club said. The 24-year-old had put pen to paper on an initial one-year contract. Oh, you only signed for one year. The 24-year-old has only put, has put pen to paper on an initial one-year contract at the Progress and Solicitor Stadium with an option of a further year following his, depart his departure from Blackburn Rovers. White was one of the standout performances in the Bluebirds' historic 2019-20 promotion campaign during which he made 19 appearances in all competitions while on loan from Rovers. After being on the books at Carlisle in his youth, White joined Gateshead in 2015, where he fought his way through, through to the first team and became a regular in 2018-19. He is from the heart of the Tyson's midfield. Tyneside's midfield gained him plenty of attention from higher divisions, but it was Blackburn who won the race for him. his signature in the summer of 2019. He intent integrally uh, agreed at, arrived at Barrow on loan in November 2019 and became a hugely popular figure with the Bluebirds fans thanks for the composure on the ball and his technically out of position while spent the first half of the 2021 season on loan at Bolton before he made a temporary, temporary move to Hartlepool prior his release from Edward Park at the end of the season. Again, there was a lot of interest part interest part in going to swap him to uh, snap up the highly rated star back back to Barrow. In my opinion, Tom White, a creative midfielder, he made an impact in that historic season where we got promoted, he's scoring a goal against uh, Hartley, uh, Dagenham Redbridge. He scored another. I think he scored another another couple of goals here uh, in that season. But Tom White, a creative midfielder, I'm so happy to see him back. When I saw it was a return of a player, and it was a midfielder, I thought John Rooney was on his way back to the Barrow. I don't think John Rooney will come back to Barrow, but you never know who he could. But my opinion now, my opinion on the on all three of these signings so far, and Offeran Zanzale. Paul Farman and Tom White have done some great signings. I can't wait for pre-season. Four more Saturdays until the pre-season start against Holker Old Boys. I should, well, I can go to that game because fans are allowed back in and it's only up the, up the road, so I might potentially do a vlog for that, uh, for that game. But now let's have a look further into Paul Farman and Tom White's career profile the first player that we are going to do is Paul Farman the goalkeeper from Carlisle so now let's speak about uh, Paul Farman's career profile starting with his youth career he started his youth career in 2008 at Newcastle United then his senior career started in 2008 to 2009 at Blythe's uh, Batanas only playing 14 games and then going out on loan in 2008 to Washington, only playing five games. And then he's been probably a lot, well, he's been a quite a quite a big, well, he spent three years here at Gateshead, playing 64 games. And then through that, he went out on loan to Lincoln City, and played eight games, and then signed a, per this was in 2011 to 2012, and then signed a permanent deal and put, in 2000, 
2012 to 2018, playing over 201 games for Lincoln City. Throughout that, he uh, in 2014 to 2015, he went uh, to Boxhead United on loan, playing four games. And then 2018 to 2020, he went to Stevens, playing 68 games. 2020 to 2021, he signed for Carlisle and played 42 games. And now, in 2021, he has made the move to the Cumbrian rivals, Barrow. He's a six foot three goalkeeper. He, this man is going to be an absolute. He's to, he, he can, this man can hang off the crossbar. This man is going to make some big saves and some crucial saves, hopefully, for the Bluebirds next season. I just can't wait to see him. The absolute monster in between that sticks next season. But now let's move on to speak. Let's move on to Tom White's careering profile next. Now let's move on to speaking about Tom Allen, Thomas Allen White. That's his proper name. He's a youth career then in Car uh, Carlisle United. I don't know. It doesn't come up with a year that he uh, started at Carlisle. But he, uh, well, we can say his youth career then started properly in 2015-2017 at Gateshead. And then senior career 2017-2019, play, still at Gateshead, playing 44 games and scoring 3 goals. Throughout that he went to uh, Spennymoor Town, a team that we are playing in pre-season. He didn't play any games there. 2017 he went to West Auckland Town on loan. To, uh, didn't play any game. 2017 went to uh, Ashington on loan. 2018 he went to Scarborough Athletic, and then 2019 sat uh, playing for Blackburn. Didn't play any uh, any games. Then throughout that 2019 2020 came to Barrow on loan, scoring eight uh, playing eight games and scoring two goals. Throughout that, he, uh, and then after that he went to uh, Bolton Wanderers on loan. Only played nine games, didn't score, and then 2021 went to Hartlepool on loan for a bit of a spell. Only played ten games, and now he has joined the Bluebirds. This man, he has yet to be playing in a well in the football league, so we don't really know what he can provide us in the football league. But he said he's up for the challenge in his interview. I think Tom White will be up for the challenge. Mark Cooper, well, putting him in a Mark Cooper squad and Mark Cooper in development, uh, development him into a great player. But there's nothing else that I can really say apart from there is there is a few more signings that Mark Cooper does want to make in a defensive uh, defensive midfielder and a defender. There is a few players that I would like to see Mark Cooper sign as a defender. Maybe bringing Tom Davis back to the club. He's been released from uh, Bristol Rovers. If you guys agree with that, leave it in the comments. Or you guys also leave in the comments who you would like to see come to Barrow. But I think Tom Davis could come back. Maybe for the CDM role, maybe we could bring in like Arch Collins from Exeter. Maybe I don't think he'll come from Exeter, but we could potentially have a look and see if he'll agree terms with the club. But there's nothing else. That I could really say, apart from if you have enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Please don't forget to smash the like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Be massively appreciated, good, and hopefully we'll see you with another video very very soon with more transfer news or players leaving the club. But thank you for watching and peace.